Welcome back to Nights in the Woods. Today we're going to be checking out the other events with B and Greg that we didn't get to do over the course of my first playthrough of the game. Starting here, we've just finished playing Weird Orton, we just started chapter 2 of the game, and today we're going to be spending some time with B. You want to do something tonight? Um, I promise it'll be an improvement on last night. What were you thinking of doing? Uh, hmm. Wanna go to the mall? The mall? Yeah, Fort Lucerne, like we did when we were kids. When was the last time you were at Fort Lucerne Mall? I don't know, five years ago? Yeah, um... What? You know what? Yeah, let's go. Great. Yeah, great. I promise it'll be great. Okay, we sure we're doing this? Yeah, we're doing it. Let's go mauling. Great. Okay, I'm excited for this. Glad I didn't puke in here. Me too. Maybe I just never drink again. Or maybe you just take it easy next time. I don't know if I do moderation well. <laughs> Relatable. I could see that. I think the term is risk-taking behavior. Are you seeing someone about this? Hanging with you is working pretty well tonight. Your friends are not therapists, your friends are not therapists, your friends are not therapists. No pressure. I should be getting paid by the hour. I got gum. I'm gonna turn the radio on now. Old Gods at the Fort Lucerne Mall. Fort Lucerne! Oh my god. Yep. What the hell happened? Um, the internet. We had the internet when we used to come here. What happened to the carousel? Sold it, I guess. Who buys a carousel? Nobody who comes here. What happened to the bookstore? Also, the internet. What happened to the arcade? I'm gonna make a sign that says, the internet, and hold it up until you're done asking. Yeah, really be that way, huh? What happened to- Internet. Yeah. Everything on sale forever. Dollar Empire. And yet, Dollar Empire is still here? I think this is the one thing the internet can't compete with. There is something special about, well, I suppose pound stores here, but dollar stores. I used to go in here when I was a kid. You could get an eraser for a dollar. A pencil for a dollar. That actually doesn't sound like a good deal. Oh god, you're right. <laughs> Man, there is something about malls. Um, I really, I don't enjoy shopping, but the atmosphere of a mall is quite something. And like, the act of going there, being there. Oh my god. The you is still here. Huh, <laughs> yeah, this old thing. I can feel the edginess from here. Just looking in there makes me feel old. We are so gonna do this. There is no way I'm going in there. Oh yeah. This is my scene. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, holy crap. I'm 14 again. Yeah, pretty nuts in here. Hey, isn't that... Shut up. Ooh, who's this? I'm gonna take a look around first. We got some witch dagger. They don't even have any witch dagger stuff in here. They only have stuff that's cool with like 13 year olds. Isn't that a witch dagger black light poster? Oh, huh. Looks like they have a few of them. I think I saw a whole witch dagger thing on the way in. Okay, okay. You should go hang out with the 13 year olds. Stop it. You have so much in common. I swear I will steal your car and leave you here. <laughs> like you even know how to drive. Well, yeah, that hits. <laughs> hmm. Wow, I haven't seen belt buckles in a while. At least not fashionable ones. 
Mike at the shop has one with a rattlesnake driving a semi-truck. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Do what? Cover me. I'm gonna grab one. What? No. Shh. You are not doing this. Oh, I guess we're doing this. So you're really gonna do this. Shh. Be cool. This isn't my first time doing crimes. What other crimes have you done? Shoplifting. Vandalism. Piracy. Shoplifting again now. Anyway, I just do the easy crimes. How is this stupid idea easy? Our eyes evolved to notice movement. Like dinosaurs. If the dinosaur is moving. <laughs> Wait, that's not... Never mind. So as long as you're perfectly still when the clerk is watching. Like you're gonna freeze when she looks over. Even if you're in the middle of putting it in your pocket. And this is gonna work because dinosaurs. Just like dinosaurs. I'm gonna pretend not to know until you're done, okay? Alright, let's go. Crimes. Ma'am, can I help you? <laughs> no, I'm fine. Sweet. Okay, we did it. That took far too many attempts. Okay, are you done? Aw, oh, yeah. Shut up and let's get out of here. Man, I wanted to see the other stuff in the shop. I messed up. Ah, oh, yeah, sweet belt buckle I am never ever gonna wear. Rubs against my stomach. This is bad, May. You should steal something now. Pardon? Haven't you ever done like any crimes? I mean, yeah, I guess, hasn't everyone? Well, get back in there, champ. What? No. Beatrice, let me lay this out. One, the security cameras aren't even on in there. Two, the cashier clearly isn't paying attention. Three, there is not one more cop here, as far as I can tell. I don't know, I mean... Hmm. B, this is an experience. Have it. I'll run interference. Okay, but I'm blaming you and driving away if I get caught. Perfect. Oh, okay, we do get to go back in there and see the other stuff then. All right, I'm gonna run interference while you do your thing. What do you mean? I'm gonna distract the clerk, I can do this. Okay, I will admit that drawing attention is a talent that you have. I'm great at crimes. What if I get caught? You won't, I'll just start screaming if I have to. How is that a good idea? Let's go. Okay, but if this goes wrong, I'm blaming you. Join the club. Hey. Uh-huh. I've got a question. T-shirts are 20% off. Yeah, I saw. I was wondering about something else. Okay. Then name this store. Yeah. <laughs> you probably get this question a lot. Try me. Hmm. Oh yeah, I should ask the question. Is it like, you revolution, or like, your revolution? You know, no one ever asks this, but I think about it all the time. I bet. God. You know what the official business name on our checks is? You revolution Radical Youth Culture Uprising Incorporated. Pretty cool place to work, huh? Not really. Anyway, did you want something? Ah, uh, okay. You alright? Not asking that question. I think it's a cool place and you should be happy you even have a job. What? I have no idea. Let me know if you need anything. So... <laughs> Bee noises. Uh... Wow, this is good. I'm gonna scream for a while. Ah! 
a... <laughs> ah! uh, okay, I'm going to call security. Ah! Okay, so we don't have security, but I am calling the cops. No, don't do that, I'll stop. What is wrong with you? Okay, I'm done looking, let's go. Okay, it was nice talking to you, bye now. Uh, see ya. Yeah, this is about how my social interactions go, actually, screaming included. Why did I do that? You did so well, V! I call the cops on shoplifters at my own store. This... What did you get? Some kind of necklace thing. Nice, nice. Oh, God. Forget it, we're home free. Really? Yeah, we're like in open waters now. I feel kind of sick. Let's walk it off. Let's walk it off. Let's see what else is around. Can we go up the stairs? I don't think so. It doesn't let us jump with B around, so I guess we're just heading in a straight line. But yeah, as I was saying earlier, there really is something about malls. Just the whole atmosphere of them. Kind of miss them because, of, you know, the last year or so. Wow, I completely forgot about this giant fish head. Oh my god, I loved her. You ever come to the Summer Days thing here? Yeah, it did like squirt people. I have no idea how they did that. I always assumed it was some guy in there with a squirt gun. No, it was totally a fountain they tricked out to squirt people. That's amazing! <laughs> yeah. You know the walkway up there? Past the upper food court thing. Up in the atrium. The what? The ceiling, the glass part that points up. I know what an atrium is. Uh-huh. Anyway. When I was a kid, I thought that that's where God lived. Wow. I don't know, just remember staring at it when I was a kid. Like, eating a burger and trying to see if I could see God. Like, peeking over or something. Looks like they got some weird hanging arts up there now. Wanna go up and see? Nah, my knees are killing me from work. This looks like a platforming challenge. Yeah, um, just thinking about like the architecture of malls and stuff, there's certainly like almost a religious kind of element to them, at least from my experience. They do kind of feel similar to like churches or cathedrals in a lot of ways. Are you up for eating? Let's check out the rest of the mall first. Work up an appetite. I was kind of hungry when we got here. But yeah, let's see what else there is to see. Smelters country, go smelters. Book Rook. Seems like my kind of place, books and birds. Vibes music. There's another person. Wow. Uncommon. Um, okay, we don't want to leave, so... Let's check out Vibes music. Wonder if we can interact with that person at any point. Well, this should be good. I wonder what kind of- Oh, come on! There's no one working at the counter? Oh, wow. Hello? Anyone here? Jeez. This is bleak. This is like something out of a failed state or something. What's that? When you make a country and it doesn't work out. So, like this country? <laughs> a. Hey, Got him. Can we check out these? CDs in the year 2020. Well, 2021, I suppose. Jeez, ruins. Let's see what they got. Honky Tonk Armageddon, Clubber Girl, rolling hard on that EE at this rave remixes. Honky Tonk Armageddon sounds like something I would actually enjoy unironically. Well, I'd actually listen to that just to see what the hell it even means. Cover's got a pickup truck that's exactly like my uncle's. But this one is on fire and flying at a dragon's face. Upgrade. Sounds good. Oh, hey, it's that band. What band? You know, you remember this song? Had the video that people posted like a zillion times. I have literally no idea what you're talking about. It had that weird horse in it. 
horse. Oh, yeah, I remember. It had a weird horse in it. Oh, God, yeah, that horse was all... Reuven. I remember. Yeah, we have officially remembered the video. We did it! Amazing. Man, this event's really got me thinking about how malls really are kind of like a thing of the past now. Especially in the last couple of years where it hasn't really been safe to go out to malls. But even then, before that, the internet was kind of replacing them. Anything that you need to get, you can buy online these days. But then, like, I feel like a mall serves a different purpose, at least for me. I like to go to a mall with not necessarily the intention of going and buying something. It's just like a day out to spend some time with friends and, and do things you wouldn't normally do, I suppose. Smeltless Country, it looks like we actually can't interact with that, but that's a sports shop, I guess, so probably no reason to interact with it. It really does kind of feel like this mall is like a time capsule, I guess is the best way to put it. Let's eat. Yeah, let's eat. Okay. I expected more excitement. Mall food court dinner. Oh, what a feeling. See, that wasn't so hard. What are we eating? What did you get? You inhaled it before I got a look. Yeah, that's me. Pierogi burger from Smelter Burger or pizza taco from Gopher. I tell you, I could go for a pizza taco right now. Gopher is some good garbage food. Yeah, I wish we'd get one in town. Oh, that would be bad for me. It'd be worth it. What's up, B? What? Remember when Kachi Domenko pulled out Cindy Clark's nose ring here? You know what that was about, right? Wasn't Kachi pregnant with, what's his name, football guy? Ron Boonstra, I didn't know you knew about that. Well, I mean, there was the first football game of our senior year, and Ron ran up to the sideline and yelled at the stands, my first touchdowns for my beautiful firstborn and his mummy, Kathy Domenko. That's... something. Kathy was in marching band and she was crying, I think. And then he dumped her for Cindy a week later. Oh, yeah, you see, that's the part I knew about. That's what set off the whole nose ring situation. Hmm. I wonder what Kathy's up to now. Well, last year Ron had this ATV accident. And somehow Kathy and him got to talking after that. And they got married. Huh. Yeah, Ron's parents set them up in a double wide out in Brittle. Since Kathy refused to end up in Possum Springs. Brittle's like 15 minutes away. You know what the worst part of all this story is? I mean, all of it? The sordid high school drama? At the time, I was like, God moves things around in the strangest ways to bring two people together. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, let's go with a deep conversation. I don't know if I even believe in God. Same, really. Thinking about this place, the fountain, and the God walkway and stuff. Not knowing how something worked used to seem like magic. Now, not knowing means it might be going wrong and I may not be able to fix it. Help knowing someone was at the controls, you know. Now I'm just tired all the time from the shop. When I was at school, yeah. Ah, don't even want to talk about it. What happened, anyway? You want to run around the mall some more? Ah, uh, there's not really much else to run around. We can check out the weird bad art upstairs. I want to touch it. Please don't. I want to run! You run, I'm going to sit here. I'm tired and sad now. Suit yourself. Man, talking to B is so good. I really love it. Just the contrast between B and Greg as characters on the whole is really strong. But these events go to show how similar they actually are. 
because even though the events with Greg are kind of fun and quirky and the events with B are a little bit more somber and serious, you still get to see like both sides of each character. And it feels like you're kind of working in reverse with the two different characters where you start off having like fun and quirky times with Greg and you're kind of working towards something deeper. Whereas with B, you're kind of starting off more deep and serious and you're trying to get her to smile and have a good time. It's just really good use of the characters and really good writing and an absolute delight to play through. Oh, wow. Is this? <laughs> Fantastic. Whoa, hey. Oh. How do, I, how do I get this to- I have to charge it up. There we go. Sorry, B. Oh my god. Holy crap. Where did all these people come from? How- <laughs> I like how there was one other person in the mall until now, but I'll take it for the sake of fun. <laughs> May, I know that's you. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Like, you have the deep conversation with B, and it kind of feels like that's her purpose in the game, but then you get to have these fun moments. <laughs> May, how are you doing that? And I think, like, it's just really interesting to think how May operates as a character in relation to her friends. Um, particularly B and Greg, and how she kind of fills a different space. <laughs> Stop it, I'm gonna die. Uh, okay, someone's gonna call the cops. Bee's smile. Bee's smile. What a blessing. Beatrice Santello! <laughs> Don't give them our names. Beatrice Jones! Oh, wow, is that you, God? Yes, it is I, God Stevenson. I didn't know you had a last name. Silence, mortal. Through my fish monster, I have lain waste to your kind. I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty magical. Silence, I shan't say it again. You and your good and noble companion shall get ice cream on the way home. <laughs> yeah, we should probably get out of here. <laughs> Before you're arrested. <laughs> the cops shall be confused and stuff and beat each other up. For I am God, and I hate the cops. Okay, okay, get down here. Have a good one, mortal. Because it's not sticking it to the man, the man isn't going to lose anything here. But she will get into a lot of trouble. She's just a cog in a much bigger machine, huh? Sure, whatever. Return the shit. Okay, okay, I'm going. Hi. Hello. You're back. Yeah, we stole some shit. Here is that shit. We don't want you to get in trouble with your boss. It's not your fault the world is like it is. What? You stole this? You're just a cog in a much bigger machine. To blame you would be like blaming a thing inside a whole thing. So you're returning stolen merchandise. One day folks like you are gonna overthrow the whole thing. What whole thing? The whole thing. We're leaving. Stay strong, you beautiful dreamer. You have nothing to lose but your chains. What? I had a feeling this was gonna play out the way it did. This place used to be something. I mean, it's still something. Nah, just a big, mostly empty thing. In a big, mostly empty parking lot. Well, you work with what you have. Let's never come here again. Don't have to convince me. I only came here because you wanted to. Well, Fort Lucen used to be something. Now Fort Lucen's over. Let's go. Let it die in peace. Let it die. I want to drive on the way home. No. Nope. Absolutely not. Oh man, that was really good. Bandit Queens, the Fort Lucen Mall.
that was fantastic. I'm really glad I chose to come back and do these extra events because I already loved B and now I love B even more. Okay, so that's going to do it for now. In the next part, we will move on to the next event to do, which is with Greg. It has been a while, but it's time for the question of the day. What's your favorite mall food? As I mentioned previously, going to the mall is like a whole day out for me, and I'm not really someone who eats a lot of fast food, so usually when I go out to the mall, that's when I go and get some kind of fast food. Quite often it'll be something like Starbucks or McDonald's, which outside of going to the mall, I very, very rarely ever have. It's not something that I would like order or go out of my way to get. It's just something that I happen to get when I'm at the mall. I look forward to reading your responses and until the next part, thanks for watching and take care. Hey, cool mall times. Pretty cool mall times, yeah. I hope you don't make too much of a mess with the fountain. Who's we? I was merely sitting there while I was assaulted with more water. I will not rest until that fountain is brought to justice. Tell the world my story. They must know. Okay, I'm going to sleep. I hope the nightmares aren't too horrible. It is a trauma that I shall bear forever. Hey, dude. What did you do tonight? Nothing much. Stole something. For Angus. It's a surprise. Wow, what is it? Hold on for a sec. Oh crap, I gotta go. Talk to you later. Okay, weirdo. You okay?